Hey folks, Richard Ross here with AccessLearningZone.com. Just wanted to take a minute to let you know I just released Access Developer Level 49. This video covers transactions in SQL, dynamic temporary tables, and a drop-in navigation subform. To get all the information on exactly what's covered in this video, I'm going to let me explain it to you. Here comes the introductory video for the course. So stay tuned, hold on, here it comes, ready? Welcome to Microsoft Access Developer Level 49, brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today's class is going to focus on three topics, transactions, dynamic temporary tables to speed up your split databases, and a drop-in navigation subform. Lessons one and two are all about transactions. A transaction is where you can issue multiple SQL statements like insert some records, delete some records, copy some, whatever, right? A whole bunch of them. And if any one of those fails, all of them fail. That's a transaction. Think of it like bank transactions, right? You're transferring money from one account to another, out from one, in from another, right? And if either one of those fails, the whole transaction fails. So that's what we're gonna be doing in lessons one and two. In lesson one, we're gonna go take it simple. We'll do some simple transactions with customer records. I'll teach you how to start the transaction, commit the transaction, roll it back if you need to. And then in lesson two, we'll do something a little more complicated. We'll add an order with a bunch of detail items. And of course, you know, check the inventory level on each of those items as you add it. And if it's too low, cancel the whole order, right? That's the power of transactions. In lesson three, we're gonna focus on dynamic temp tables. What is this? Well. If you've got a split database, whether it's on the network or whether it's on the internet, you're using SQL server or just a backend access database. If you've got forms that pull a lot of data in from other tables, right? Like a list of customers or orders or products or whatever. You probably noticed that maybe some of those combo boxes or other controls on your forms are running slowly. So in this lesson, I'm gonna teach you how to make them faster when the form loads, or even when the database loads, you're gonna copy that data down to a temporary table. We're gonna make it table agnostic. So it's not gonna matter what fields are in your table. You just give it the table name, bang, it'll create the backend table copy for you. And you'll just use that. And in lesson four, we're gonna make a drop in navigation sub form, this little guy right here, right? And yeah, you know how to make buttons to go to the first record, go to the next record, go to the last record. That's all easy stuff. That's beginner stuff. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to manipulate the record set of the main form, right? Display what record you're on, the total number of records using the record set properties, the absolute position property, which we really haven't covered yet. And then we're going to take that and we're going to make that navigation bar a sub form. So in the future, if you want to use it on a different form, you just drop that subform in, make a change to the properties, and you're done. No VBA has to go in the parent form at all. The subform does all the heavy lifting, and this is a great solution. So you'll see how this works in lesson four. This lesson, of course, follows Access Developer 48. Do you have to have watched 48? No, not really. I mean, once we get up to this level, but there is some core stuff that you really should know. Um, definitely the beginner expert material. Uh, developer 15 error handling, 16 record sets, uh, table defs are important. So yeah, this, this, these are de these are designed so that I assume you understand everything from the previous ones. So yeah, kinda. But if you come across a topic that you don't know, you can always look it up on the website and find out what other lesson covers that. Or just don't skip levels. <laughs> that way we don't have to worry about it. It is currently March of 2025, so I am using an Access 365 subscription. My version of Access is roughly equivalent to Access 2024. Get a subscription. It's not that expensive. It's like eight bucks a month, and it's worth it if you're running your business on Access. Got questions? Post them down below. The page that you're watching this video on, you'll see you can post questions right on the bottom, and we'll do our best to answer you. All right, sit back, relax, and enjoy Access Developer 49. 